Previously on KDP Films and Cinematics, we were in Houston, Texas at a famous restaurant called Boom Ba Hui, but this one was at Midnight Boom Ba Hui, and that's located down in Bel Air. After we were done with our spicy beef noodle Boom Ba Hui, we went down to Class 502 for rolled ice cream, and it was amazing. We closed out the night by going to celebrate at Yao's Bar, also down in Bel Air. In this episode, we're bringing you back to Australia, down in Canley Vale at Bac Dang Vietnamese Restaurant. We will be doing a dining and seafood review here. So sit back and enjoy the ride. Alright, so this evening, Julia and I decided to uh, bring uncle and auntie to Bac Tang restaurant and that's a Vietnamese restaurant that's why the name sounds kind of funny but it's down over here in uh, Kenley Vale but uh, yeah I want to show you all the special uh, seafood that this place actually offers um, and I just found out uh, just recently just now from the owner that she's also got family in Houston Texas that owns Kim Sun restaurant. And that's a very famous restaurant. There's like four or five locations. I love their dim sum. Awesome. And everybody does like weddings over there. But anyway, we're here at Pakistan in uh, Sydney, Can uh, Canyon Vale. And uh, I'll show you uh, how, how we go and what we're going to have. All right, first up, we got this quail. It is uh, crispy on the outside, totally tender in the inside, and it's like a peaking style. As you can see, it's like really, really shiny on the skin. It's a little crispy, but really tender inside. I'm just gonna go ahead and bite into it. It's just too hard to tear, but look, look at all that. Look at all that juice that's just flowing out of there. Oh my god. That's, that's amazingly juicy. Wow, I'm just gonna go in for it. Look how tender and soft this meat is. It's not chewy or tough. It just melts in your mouth. Wow. Mm. So it looks like I got like the end part of the, uh, the chicken breast and then um, one of the legs. Okay, correction. Stand corrected. I thought it was quail, but it's pigeon. This, this is pigeon. This is the best pigeon I ever had. I don't even know if I ever had pigeon before, but this was amazing. Tastes yummy, Michael? Yeah. It's good? Yeah. It's really nice. Yeah. Pigeon. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. Steam rice. Alright, up next we got abalone. This is what we've all been waiting for. so fresh they got it in the tank over there and um, what they do is like they steam it and uh, make it with some uh, they dress it with some uh, soy sauce uh, base uh, sauce and then they put all this uh, um, julienne sliced scallion and coriander uh, which is cilantro and look at it it's just absolutely gorgeous under there wow so they give it's it's totally fresh. It's cooked in its own shell and everything. And uh, yeah, this that's that's what it looks like underneath. And it gives that um, that crunchy consistency, but still tender. If you ever eaten um, like like a, a scallop or, or or a giant clam, it, it's that kind of consistency. Um, so it's kind of like 
not like melty like scallop, but I'll show you what it looks like inside. And I'll take a bite here. Mmm. Nice stock. See how steamy it is? Mmm. So inside is like kind of bouncy. And yeah, that's what what it inside of a abalone looks like and um, it just tastes like have you ever had a uh, fish cake kind of kind of tastes like that but abalone is just one whole shellfish yeah, good stuff you've got to have fresh uh, abalone at least once in your life and so this is the shell of the abalone that's what it looks like on the outside it's like a, it looks like a regular old um, Shellfish shell, and then in the inside, it's got that. It's like kind of like a rainbow glimmering type pearl. So yeah, pretty neat. So I've just been updated by the owner. They've got one of the best abalones pretty much in the world, and the abalone that we just had was farmed from Tasmania. Totally fresh, totally awesome. I definitely coming. Coming back here to back time to getting more abalone. I see that I have some extra abalone juice at the bottom of my bowl after they cleaned it. I am not going to let that go to waste. I am actually gonna get some steamed rice, add it to my bowl there. get it and then like add in some rice in the uh, frying pan and then just down it. Eating the rice with the um, abalone juice. Mmm. That was good. The next fish that we have out is called gakoto. This is the Vietnamese tradition. Uh, normally, uh, the actual tradition is like catfish, but here um, in Australia, uh, they don't eat too much catfish. I, I don't really see it too much on the menu, but they do use uh, barramundi instead, which is another great. Um, it's a white flaky meat catfish and pretty fatty, so it's pretty awesome. All right, so I'm gonna go in for a taste now. It's looking delicious. Uh, basically how uh, they cook this traditionally is uh, in a clay pot and it's like um, it's like they would um, fry the sugar to make it brown and then uh, they add in the coconut the water and um, fish sauce all the seasoning and then it'll um, reduce we'll let it reduce in the clay pot for a few hours until it becomes all the way down to like really saucy and that's what we have here. There we go. Wow, nice steamy hot. You can tell that's been cooking for a while. Wow. Fermented, uh, I can't say fermented, uh, like fish sauce. Um, this is reduced and it's kind of like oily, fish oil. And so normally you would eat with the, the rice. So I'm gonna add a little bit of rice in here and then um, have that all soak up just like I did with the abalone uh, juice and, and give it a try. Mm. That flavor is awesome. 
awesome. It's all soaked into that rice. Mm. Okay, if you don't know us by now, we love crabs. And tonight, we have the mud crab. It's with the uh, ginger, uh, spring onion, and uh, shallots over some noodles. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. So I got this, this here. You see how it's shimmering? Wow, and steaming hot too. Wow, so it's like, it looks like that they coat it with some kind of cornstarch first. Uh, they fried it up and then refried it with all that sauce that I'm talking about. I'm just gonna go in for a bite here. It's looking so good. My mouth is getting watery. Mm. Wow. That crab meat just melts. Mm. See that steaming? Oh man. That's amazing. Oh yeah. See that crab meat? I can just use my chopsticks and just pull the meat out. It's freaking awesome if I can get. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, it's, that's, it's, that, it's that tender and fall apart. It's so awesome. Yeah, so you can definitely taste that ginger, those, uh, those shallots, and the spring onion. Up next, I'm going to try those noodles that I came with. So, uh, so these noodles uh, seem like it's flour-based. Um, maybe egg, egg-based, maybe egg noodle. I'm not sure. But it's really springy. You can tell it's not that thick, so the sauce can get in between the noodles pretty well. It's, uh, it's pretty slippery and I'm gonna see how the consistency of that um, of the noodle is. So there you have it, Bakdan Seafood Vietnamese Restaurant, one of our favorites in Sydney. We absolutely loved it. It was just uh, amazing. It was very sentimental to me because I get to spend some time with some family and uh, it was good quality time and they always give us a great, great experience there. So always, always happy to come back.